All right, so in this video, we're doing a walkthrough of Copy AI for Instagram. It could do hashtags, captions, carousel, product posts. We're gonna be playing with all of it. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, do all the things. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Amanda Bay. I'm the top female sales trader online. I spent eight years previous to that as a content marketer. And on this channel, we cover everything sales, marketing, mindset, and systems which are the four things that you need to make money your honey in your business. So make sure to subscribe if that's something that interests you because we'll have more AI videos coming out. And a couple resources for this particular video that will make it more impactful and more helpful for you. The first one is our free content calendar template that you can use on Notion, one of my favorite tools ever. So that will be in the description and also up top wherever it goes in the card. And then the other thing is the sales script vault. I'm using AI marketing to basically blow up the front end and visibility of my business and the marketing and doing it in a way where I could create a lot of stuff without it costing me a lot of time and money and get my stuff in front of more people. But then you need to understand sales process and the sales skills to actually convert all those people into clients. So Make sure to grab the sales script vault. It's a collection of 20 plus sales scripts you can use in a whole bunch of different situations. So you can take everything that you're learning here, attract the attention, and then actually convert them into buyers. So without further ado, let's go. Hey everyone, I'm here again playing with AI. I was drawing a blank on an Instagram caption because it's the end of the day. I've been training and doing sales all day. And I'm like, dang, I got to post that video on Instagram. I have no more creative thought <laughs> left in me for the day. So I was like, well, okay, let's go to copy AI, right? And see what it comes up with. So I wanted to show you guys what I was doing and how I used it. So I just posted a video on Instagram. It's it's a YouTube video about why people are not getting coaching clients. And I turned that into a snippet with another tool called Descript, which there's a video about that on this channel too. So make sure to go find that one. And I was posting it as a reel and, you know, super easy video, trending audio in the background, write a couple words, no big deal. But then I had to write the caption and I was like, I just... I have no more brain power today. And this thing needs to go out. So I came into Copy AI, which you've seen me use previously for email marketing. Yeah, mostly just email marketing right now. And I was like, well, let me try the social media thing. So all I really did was go to Instagram captions and it has different things for Instagram. So it has Instagram captions, Instagram a product showcase. It also has a carousel post. So that's really cool. I'm also seeing a lot of other things in here that I want to play with, but we're just doing Instagram for now. And what is your post about? Women coaches not knowing how to express the value of what they offer in a way that is understandable, because that's what I say in the clip. I chose my tone, which is friendly. And here's what it gave me. We want women coaches to express the value of what they offer in a way that is understandable. And we don't just want them to say, I'm an expert. This is good. I would just change it to what I actually said in the video versus I'm an expert. Um, let me see. As a woman coach, I've learned that it is my responsibility to provide clarity and get people excited about what I do. I could use, maybe I could use that. I did not like this one at all. This was like not even relevant. Every piece of coaching you do is valuable. Understanding that and knowing how to communicate that to other women can help bring the culture of empowerment. Like that was just cheesy. That That's just corny. Like we're not, we're not doing that. The value of a coach is hard to express and understand, but it can be incredibly powerful. When you learn to express the value of what you offer in a way that is understandable and memorable, you're making your company stronger and you can attract more. I liked this one. I think this is the one I'm going to use. I just have to edit a couple of words, but... This one's good. I like it. I like it a lot. So sharing your value is not about you. It's about the opportunity for someone else to learn and grow. Yeah, doesn't really work for this. Mm, we're here to help you spread the word about what makes your business special. Nope. Nope. <laughs> You're just going to see me going nope from now on. We all have something to teach. So, okay. So some of these like work for the video cap, the real caption. Others of these, I feel, are more like um, like prompting people to comment and things like that or prompting a promotion. But, I mean, it's spat out like 20 of these. 
But the one that I liked that I think made the most sense for the prompt that I gave it and the message that I'm trying to create is this one. The value of a coach is often hard to express and understand. I'll just edit it in a couple ways. Let's try the product showcase since we're already in here. I actually don't have physical products that I sell, so I'm totally making this up right now. If anybody has physical products that they sell, just let me know in the comments if this works for you. So product, brand name, let's say make money your honey. Actually, I just pulled it from the last thing that I did. Women coaches not knowing how to express the value of what, but that's not a description of a product. Let's say I do have a product, maybe. Let's see, let's see if we can make this work. A media calendar. No, actually, I know. A collection of 20 plus sales scripts that can be used in any sales situation. Now, I'm not giving it a lot to work with, and I'm kind of doing that on purpose because I want to see what it spits out. It's thinking. I love this little computer thing while it's thinking. We all love sales. Making money while helping others is a dream come true. I'm glad it knows that about sales. So we put together 20 plus scripts you can use in any sales situation. Simply practice it. Oh, I like that one. Can I save this? Saved. How about, I am actually am going to save this. So sales script vault. Okay, this is a book full of complex sales scripts. Not a book, but sure, I can make that work. Incredibly reader friendly and easy to understand. You just need to plug it into your situation and you'll take care of the rest. These are the five different categories of scripts. That's actually pretty good. I can work with that. It's not perfect, but I can work with it. Our team has been working hard to bring you this collection of sales scripts focused on making money in your life. Listen and follow the steps in this free ebook. Okay, it's not bad. You know, you can work with this stuff. You can work with it. If your brain is, has gone kaput like mine did at the end of the day today, it's definitely helpful. I feel like there was something else for Instagram. Where did it go? Carousel post. What is your topic? I don't know. Let's say something that some people would say would require a human. Let's see. Qualifying in sales situations. Oh, that's not working. How to properly qualify in sales situations. Let's see what it comes up with. Hook, when a qualifying a sale, make sure to ask this question. How much can you afford? No, terrible question to ask a qualifying in sales. This is why AI is not going to be able to take over humans in sales. Do you have access to the tools that you need? Do you understand the sales process? No, this is terrible. I didn't give it a lot of context, right? But this is not how you qualify people. Okay, how to prove their prospects that you're qualified. Not what I was trying to go for, but could be a different kind of post. Looking to sell your services, understand your customer and their goals well, be able to explain in detail how the service will help them sell the benefit, not the product. That's true. Ask for the business after you understand. Don't give a big up sale. That's actually not bad, right? Not really what I was trying, what I told it to do, but not bad. Mm, how do you properly qualify your leads? Ask for the number, ask for the names, ask what they're looking to buy, how they found you. All right, some of these are trash. Some of them are okay. This is the biggest mistake salespeople make. They assume everyone wants their product. I mean, you kind of should assume that. They assume their product is good for everyone. That's actually, that's a valid mistake. They don't qualify effectively. That's valid. They assume a qualified lead is ready to buy. You should assume the sale, but I get what it's trying to say. Like, not everybody's going to buy right away. I get what it's trying to say, but from a mindset perspective, you, sh you should assume the sale. Like you should go in there and be like, I'm closing this. It's a mindset thing. Not terrible. I can actually, like if I were to do a carousel post, I could use some of these. It's not exactly what I asked it to do, right? Not Maybe not exactly what I was looking for, but there are some of these that I can actually work with. Okay. I think that's, oh, hashtag generator. 
oh shit, that's not the one I want. Hold on, let's do this. What was the original thing that I did? Women coaches not knowing how to express the value of what they offer. Create content. Give me some hashtags. Woman candidates. Woman in politics. No. <laughs> women coaches, coaching, women in business, women not that's that's more valid. It's definitely more valid. Oh, I'd probably use something like this one. All right, so that's the how to use a copy AI for Instagram. I like it just because it's more user friendly with like chat GPT, you just have to keep prompting it. And at the end of the day, I just don't have the brain space for it. Whereas copy AI basically prompts you. <laughs> right? And then you input and it goes. So I like that. Hope you guys found this really valuable. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. I'll see you in the next video.